Providence, Rhode Island for the ASA World Tour Women's Street Competition. Round one action, Kate Django, 31-year-old New Yorker. She's pioneered the sport in a big sense in the competition sense here with big 360. Less than half her age, Katie Brown comes in first pro competition. She's young and she's confident. She pulled some of the more technical grinds. Strong East Coast skater Kelly Matthews making her presence known. She skated very smart in her first run, being very consistent with lots of clean grinds. Jenny Logue skates with some of the top inliners in all of England. And she skates very consistently and creatively doing mono rolls, solid grinds, and big airs. More big tricks to come. Jenny Logue, the current leader, after one. Matthews Brown, Django, pretty widespread field so far. But the way we work it on the women's street, four competitors, 65 seconds twice on the street course. Throw out the lower score, keep the best one, and that's your final result. Jenny Logue yet to skate round two. She's a woman who loves skating against the competition here in the States. It's really great. I mean, back in England, there's, um, there's, there's a few girls, but over here it's so much bigger and there's so many good girls out here. It's really good to skate with them. It's been a good day for her so far. Run number two for Logue now. And Jenny starting off with a big gap transfer over the rail. Up the vert, right back down. Sub box. Street skating is, is so much more unpredictable. You're able to injure yourself without even knowing. Just it happens so quickly. If you don't land on a rail, there you go. Perfect rail. If she missteps on that rail, she can go down so hard. It takes a lot of courage to street skate. Oh, and again, the judge, as she falls, obviously coming up the ramp, the judge is again looking for line, and when we say line, using the complete and entire course, using the sub box, using the pyramid in the middle, and the verts on the side. And here, with a Royale down the big rail, not taking it to the bottom, but riding it clean. 65 seconds per run. This is her second. Not penalized for taking time at the top. The big hop up top, the sub box, and that's going to be about it for Jenny Lowe. She went for the big launch, tried to reach across and grab her foot, but a little bit of panic set in. Her foot started flying all over the place, and then some creativity over another box on the course. Great effort for Jenny Lowe, 39.6 to second run. She is our clear winner with a final score of 42.8 and an invitation to San Diego in the X Games. Just up from 40 Deuce and Dream Street, there's a joint that jumps with solid swinging and Hepcat scat. With a Heidi Ho man and the godfather of soul, hit the high notes with every cool in the pool. It's a house on fire called the Cotton. Back to the Ocean State, the ASA World Tour Women's Bird Competition about to get underway. Doug Dunbar, Mark Shays. And from the Buckeye State, Robin Miller, round one, putting together a good run. Going for big tricks but leaning too far forward on her 360 and taking a spill. First professional outing here in Providence, Katie Brown. Katie went for some of the most progressive tricks on the half pipe, pulling a nice unity grind. And the international representation, Claudia Trichel out of Switzerland. Claudia has a lot of competition background, and she knows how to link very difficult tricks back to back. 
It is the bird competition after round one. Trishel, the leader, way out front, 45.4. Big scores to make up. We have a scratch in the number four position. Round two will be in a moment. Four competitors, two runs, 50 seconds apiece. You take the low score, throw it away. The best run counts as your final score. In round two, Fabio De Silva will simply have to watch again. She's not competing because of a knee injury she sustained. Last year's X Games winner, finding it a little tough to sit in the stands. She'll be able to watch Claudia Trichel currently first, trying to hang on to the lead through two rounds of skating. Claudia starting off with some nice airs. She as well is using the entire ramp Getting upside down. Missed the invert just slightly there. She made up for it on the second one. First one, the hand slipped out just a little bit. And there's a 360 with a nice grab. It's always important to grab for style. The judges look for style, and it plays a big part in the whole culture of skating. Tried the grind on the right side. Totally missed the coping. They're trying the grind. Ended out turning it into a stall. She didn't have enough speed. Yeah, and again, the grinds and all these balance acts on the top of the coping and on the side really come down to where your body is at. You need to center the position toward the end of a run, little fall. But again, the body position so important at the top. On the air, grabbing her foot, it gives you support. And then grabbing her foot here, but she just went to her knees. She looked a little bit timid on the 540. Timid or not, Trichel puts in a fabulous effort here in Providence. 41.6, nice second round score, and that makes her our ASA World Tour Women's Vert Champion by a wide margin, Katie Brown in second spot. When we come back, the men will take to the street. The injured Chris Edwards on your left, and Arlo Eisenberg, the man who lives in lines. The more we compete and stuff, the more it's looked at as a sport, but I've always thought of it more as an art form and as a, a a vehicle for expression.